Hey, this is John. Uh, not that I condone cheating in high school on any test. That would be wrong. But if I was going to do that 35 years ago or whatever, this is how we might have done it. Now, obviously, there's no way to cheat to the point that I can tell you what the answers are on any test. That would be absurd. But I can tell you how to communicate silently to your classmates while taking a multiple choice test. And that's what we did. So let's say for the sake of argument, we had a 15 question multiple choice test and I got to number 12 and couldn't figure out what the answer was. Well, in your class, you've got a cohort of let's say 25% of that class population. So in a class from, of 20 people, maybe you've got five who you're friends with who will be in on this uh, experience, again, if you're gonna go this route. So you were sitting there and basically the things you do, the fidgeting you do and the moving around you do and the things like that to consider what is the answer for number 12. These are the things that you're gonna do to uh, communicate with your classmates, okay? So let's say uh, clearing your throat is a way of communicating that I have a question, okay? And you need to obviously communicate with your cohort before taking the test that these are the signals that we're gonna use. But clearing your throat <coughs> is not out of the ordinary in a test environment, but is now saying to your five friends out there, I have a problem or I have a question that I need some help with, okay? Then the next thing would be uh, a way of indicating what number it is. Let's say your, your left shoulder is a 10. So this is, that's just turned into 20. You see how I did that? One, that's 10, that's 20. Okay. And maybe uh, dicking around with your baseball hat is uh, single digits. So you could do one of these. There you go. I just singled a 12. A 10, a 1, and a 2 putting it back on. So I just uh, said I needed a number uh, 12. And maybe your buddies are going to come back with, uh, I don't know, you could have, this could be an A. Stretching could be a B. Uh, yawning could be a C. Uh, and tapping your left hand on the, uh, the desk could be a D. Now, the advantage to you as the person asking the question is you have five people out there in your field of vision that you've just asked for help on a question. And if four of those five come back with the same answer, statistically speaking, that's probably the answer you should go with unless you've got something better you want to run with. Anyway, uh, if we had done this in high school, that's how we would have done it. Uh, if we had done this in high school, we would have never gotten caught. If you do use signals like this or this or this or whatever, change it up so it doesn't seem like, uh, you know, you're going in there with uh, some sort of shoulder problem every test. And uh, there you go. Again, I don't condone, condone cheating, but if I was going to cheat, that's how I would do it. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.